not um, no place to be really. And so uh, you mentioned entangled. That, that's been a buzz phrase. Everybody loves it. Everybody loves it. It's one of the biggest hits. You're hearing about it. <laughs> one, it's one of the biggest hits right now. Uh-huh. Entanglement. Entanglement. <laughs> so uh, one of the, the goals is what's the farthest particle that you can entangle on the premise that maybe that'll be useful one day. Right. And from all the news articles, I've seen China leads the world Uh-oh. in entangled particle distances. So, so what do you have to do well, to... No, no. I'm sorry, because I, I, I'm, I'm just losing something right here. I'm what, missing what? something. If something is entangled, what difference would it make about the distance? No, but Chuck is completely right about entanglement. It doesn't matter how far away things are, but the problem with two entangled particles, which we haven't even defined what that means, but you have a very sophisticated audience, so they know what this means, is that as soon as you measure one of them, the right. entanglement so breaks. breaks. So it's not that they get further apart, just that as you bring them further apart, the chances that one of them bumps into something gets bigger and right. bigger. 